All right, good morning. Well, it's actually afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon. It's about 69 degrees here in Hopkins, South Carolina. And uh, we're gonna check in on the bees and see what they're doing today. Not really planning to go in the colonies because I was just in them two days ago. But hey, look, Porky's here at the fence. Say hey, Pork. You say hey, Pork. You just eating, eating some corn. Huh? Give you a little pet. You want to bite? You want to bite the GoPro? No. <laughs> anyway, Porky's chilling today. Uh, this morning I put out some open feed and my chicken feeders out here. Um, not a lot, just the the two chicken feeders, but uh, they're they're going at it, guys. Think they're thirsty after a couple days being cooped up in there. They're really uh, going at it, which is good. You know, I've, as compared to putting it on the colonies, I put it out out here in order to uh, hopefully spread the wealth, right? The colonies that need it, get it. Colonies that don't need it, don't get it. Uh, you know, that type of thing. But they, they did some cleansing flights when it warmed up this morning. Um, and pretty much just out flying around. You can see we got them coming everywhere. Even my, uh, pretty much flying everywhere today. I, every colony's got bees coming out of it to some degree. Um, even my little splits. Um, starting to get some around my head. Here's my ducks. We can run them around. I ran the mower around a little bit uh, just to get some leaves up. And now I got bees around me. All bees around me. But uh, let's go down Nuke Row and see what we got kicking over here today. Get away from the bigger colonies for a minute since I'm not wearing a veil. But uh, they're definitely uh, coming in and out. Got this one kind of going. They're flying in and out of that one. So, pretty good. Taking some dead ones out. They're cleaning up. Trying to wrangle a dead bee out of there. Actually, looks like a cell they cleaned out. And taking her right on out. So, they are, uh, this green colony looks like they're working it pretty good over here. They look like inside. Let's look inside. Just whoa, okay. All right, we didn't want to do that. I don't have my hive tool over here, it's over on this other colony. So let's get it. I'm gonna take a peek. They got that lid propolized to that feeder ring pretty good. Demaray, back of the Demaray is doing pretty good over there this morning, as well as the front. So they're doing good. Let me take this. Uh, hive tool and see if I can pop this uh, trim ring. I didn't like that. I think I, I heard the sound of a few crunching bees right there. Yep, nice little nuke. They're working on it. Eating the fondant. Eating the little bit of pollen sub I put in there. Very little tiny piece. And we'll close that right back. Again, wasn't really looking to get in them today. Um, just because I was just in them. And it was kind of cool last night. It actually got in the high 30s here. Um, but I think that's the last of that for a minute. We're hoping anyway. Um, haven't had anybody stop by today for local honey. But hopefully they will. Hopefully they will soon. But I wanted to show you what I got in my ditch over here. So some of you great people that know every every flower and bloom out there we got these things which these purple flowers some people i think they're dead nettle but i don't know if you guys know let me know so we got that we got a little bit of uh dandelions starting to 
pop up in my yard and if you see these white flowers that's actually uh, wild berries see there's some wild berries starting to grow in my, my irrigation ditch up here and usually I'll see bees on them but you see the trash that's from people throwing it out of their car windows which drives me crazy over here but what can you do so this plant that was all bloomed up looks like it's uh, got some blooms but mostly uh, mostly brown like that now um, let's see let's look at the kudzu you can see this tree this is how kudzu does so kudzu will take a tree like that and totally engulf it and choke it out choke the life out of it but uh kudzu it's got some new new leaves on it and this is just a little bit you can see the vines hanging hanging down that tree right there straight ahead with the broken branch you can see it's uh gone all the way up the tree and it's choking it out really choking it out but uh it's kind of what's that's what kudzu does if anybody was wondering it just chokes chokes the life out of stuff um and we've got a few flowering stuff back here this was my washout ditch that i've been filling for three years with clippings and stuff but we got this little plant right here going uh little red plant back there I'm not sure what that is I'm climb in here with these little red flowers going this is just around my yard uh if I see anything else out here today besides roosters had to bury a rooster today it didn't make it last night oh these things um, again it's another one of those flowers that you see carpenter bees on but you don't really see bumblebees on but we got some of these like orchid looking things going and that's pretty much it I decided today I was just gonna let the bees do their thing and uh and try to uh you know try to be bees and not disturb them too much today because i just wanted them i know wednesday i'll be going in and it was real cold last night so i figured i'd just let them go today and right now every colony seems to have bees going in and out of it so i really can't complain at that I did do something yesterday uh, wild berries growing over my septic tank cover and over in in the side here we got bushes next to the AC unit um, but I replaced my screen bottom board down here yesterday with a solid bottom board uh, this colony was not as strong as I really thought it would be this time of year probably going to end up uh, stealing a couple frames of brood from some of these other colonies and popping in that one but uh, yeah they're pretty busy today flying flying around everywhere lots of bees today um, actually I got one colony that I know has bees in it but they're not flying today uh, hopefully they didn't die out Oh, nope, just saw a couple bees come out of it. So, yeah, just a low population right there. Um, bees checking me out. Low population of uh, bees in that colony. I better leave my hive tool out here. I'm going to be searching for it again. But other than that, today, there's a little lizard. Lizard, let's see if we can see him. See the lizard? Oh, just went down and under the lip here probably jump out at me and scare the crap out of me now it's over here right there lizard lizard just ran so yep oh i did find something interesting while i was walking the dogs this morning i always walk them over here in this lot and uh, let's see if i can find it so i was using this app 
to try to identify some stuff that I didn't know what the heck it was. So this stuff right here, didn't know what that was, but the app says that's uh, blueberries. Who knew? I didn't know I had blueberries, but evidently there's blueberries out here. There's a couple, one, two, three plants of blueberry, some new pines coming up. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I got anything else over here. Bamboo. If y'all need bamboo, come and get it from over here. Because I'm not a big fan and it'll take everything over. I've got bamboo. Uh, what else? I don't know. This, this I think is a maple. Uh, new maples that are popping up. There's a dragonfly. Hate dragonflies. They kill my queens when they're out flying. Um, we got this. It's either pot or maple leaves. I'm not sure. <laughs> they're just out here in the in the yard. So <laughs> I've, I just decided I was going to walk through here. Might here's another one back here. So if you guys know what these are. Let me know, but plenty of uh, three, four, five of them popping up out here. So I haven't been over here in a while. So we're just trekking through the forest. There used to be a house over here, an old house, and they knocked it down. Um, there's still remnants. We can walk back here. Remnants, old, old clothesline right here. Now I do know in the fall, that uh, there's an elm tree. I do know in the fall it doesn't it doesn't look like it right now, but there's some more berries. Good, come get the berries, girls. Just going. I do know in the fall all of these sticks right here do get a, a nice bright yellow flower on them. And uh, this is kind of where the house was back there a little bit. Um, so we got a bunch of stuff, like I'm walking through berries right now. So who knows, maybe I can get a bunch of, bunch of berries over here this year. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is all empty, empty lots next to mine that my bees can forage on really wanted to look to see if I saw any swarms just hanging out but I haven't seen any you know after a rain a lot of times they'll they'll decide they want to swarm and uh, get out here but uh, I haven't seen any just a bunch of dead trees they're probably it's probably when I have a swarm it's probably where they're going in all these dead trees over here but it's not my property so I can't really do much about it um, but yeah, there's old flower bush. Look at this. This is pretty. Let's go check that out. Walking through more berries. Killing off all the berries. Lots and loads and loads of berries over here. And uh, there's over here have not, uh, they got berries on the ground. All these white flowers are berry plants. So I'm sure my bees have found those. Um, look at that. Look at these flowers. They're like mine. That that the honeybees don't usually touch. Here, I hear a big carpenter bees. Carpenter bees flying around them. Um, but evidently the carpenter bees love them. And honeybees don't love them. For whatever reason. And they're not too deep. The flowers aren't too deep for the, for the honeybee to get into. I don't know. I just don't know why they why they don't. Maybe they just don't care for the scent. I don't know. And we've got this kind of flower or tree bush here. Um, this is all just on the property around me. So I figured I'd give you guys a little tour through these lots, and we would go. Go walking. Actually, I, I didn't want to walk through these, but I guess that's where I'm at now, right? I don't know what this was. Look at this. What kind of thing is this? Don't know. Looked pretty dead at the moment. But uh, those are pretty cool. I don't know what that is. Some of you uh, 
people that are more skilled with the different types of flowers and bushes and whatnot. You guys may know. Got some, uh, I don't know, these things are stickery as hell. What those are. That's what that is. If you've ever fallen in one of them, you'll know it. <laughs> or cut grass next to it. So this is just the back of the lot. Actually, on the other side, my hives are all back over that way. So, this should have been what I asked the fellow the other day when he came to buy honey. If I could put colonies over here on all this land. That'd be sweet, right? More colonies over there, not too far from my house, walking distance. Of course, you know, open feeding wouldn't be bad, but getting other stuff over there might might be kind of trying. But yeah, this is just kind of a a woods run, and uh, I was walking the dogs back there today. It felt like uh, you guys might want to see, because a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you guys got for forge? Honestly don't know all of it this right here the beast seem to like this tree um, with the little white flowers they usually get on this pretty good I see some flying up there I don't know if you can see the little reflections in the light that's typically honeybees flying around up there a little bit taller yeah they're flying flying up there a bunch of different different flies and bees and and everything they're out there getting it done putting in the work um, but I plan to uh, check these colonies out I just didn't want to get in them today really even though it's really prime weather and nice and would be awesome but uh, I was just in them day before yesterday uh, before the rain and man they are really flying I got bees everywhere for my little yard i mean they're pretty a lot of them are flying out and going to the feeder over there as you can see them making the beeline back and forth it's like 3d they fly right at you <laughs> right at you they don't care but yeah i've got bees going everywhere they're they're building comb stacking nectar away it's pretty impressive actually i mean i can't imagine being at like bruce's at bruce's bees or ian stepler's could you imagine the amount of bees that are just flying around um, you know, but I still have some empty boxes that I would like to see filled up, uh, this year. Don't know if it'll happen. We're just going to do what we can do and let the bees do what they do and try to, you know, keep, keep these colonies over here pretty strong on this side because I want them to, uh, try to make me some honey and, uh, use this side over here. To, um, to make some bees and they seem to be doing you know the ones that have split over here are, are doing pretty good I mean it's not a lot there's probably about five or six over on this side that uh, that have productive queens in them at the moment and then everything else is on this side even got a little guardian front entrance they figured out Lee just to show you, I'm probably going to get stung in here, but it is what it is. Look. They figured it out, kind of, how to get in and out of there. And I just use that on my solid nukes, some of them. But, yeah, it's not the best for them, I don't think. That's good for an upper entrance, but they probably would prefer the disc on the bottom. It's kind of hard. They're dragging something out. Oh, it's a drone. Drone backed out. He moonwalked out and then flew out. <laughs> All right, that's cool. So, yeah, that's it. I got drones flying today for sure. So, any unmated queens, maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll get hooked up today and uh, get things going. But uh, it looks like the Ukrainian hive is doing pretty good. My super mean colony over there looks like they're doing pretty good. Uh, that pink was the swarm, the swarm nuke. That seems to be doing pretty good. Um, that's actually scout bees or robber bees going in that pink box because there are no bees in that colony. Um, this was a little split. 
that I don't know if they're queen right or not, to be honest with you. Um, they're pretty docile, but I know I put a queen in them, or queen cell, and I've seen a queen walking around in there before, but I didn't see her last time I was in there, and I didn't see any eggs or anything. So maybe this warm weather that we're getting ready to have the rest of the week will uh, we'll get them going good. We, we can hope. I mean, they are flying good today. I hope everybody else uh, that watches me that's up north has some uh, blessings like this real soon and gets some warm weather. And uh, one just landed on my neck. Tried to get me. Tried to get me. Oh, one thing I will do while I'm out here, just to show you, while I'm uh, wasting YouTube footage time. <laughs> My dogwood's blooming up above me over there. Let me see if I can find this uh, this swarm lure. Just rebate my my swarm trap. Let's see. I think it's up here. At least it was. I might have dropped it in the in my center console. I got too much junk in my center console. I, oop, I went Ubering yesterday. I Uber once in a while to try to make a little extra money. Yeah, I Ubered yesterday. So I had to clean my truck up, clean it out. All right, so right here, Swarm Lure, crushable vial from uh, Swarm Commander. Just curious. Oh, whoop, open. Let's see if I can pop one out of here without breaking it. All right. Got one. I got one. All right. So real simple, in case you don't know. Looks like a smelling salts. It's uh, got a vial inside. You just pop that and it crushes it. Turn it over. Let that swarm commander get in that gauze like a smelling salts. And then we're just gonna rub some around. Rub some around the hole. Just. I'm just gonna drop it in there. Whoop, did you even see that? I don't even see that. I just wiped it around the hole. You can see it's a little shiny there where I put it, and then I just dropped the whole vial on the inside. So that's a little swarm commander action in there. Maybe we'll get get some people checking it out. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get some forgers, maybe we won't, or scouts checking that out. I've got an exit on the back or an entrance on the back too. And uh just enjoying the day with the bees flying. Man, look at them. Can you see them? Hopefully y'all can see those. Looks like my intro video. That actually looks, oops. Dog on it. Looks better than my intro video, really. But they are really getting it today. So, at any rate, I'm gonna get out of here. Got some work to do. Now I gotta edit a video. So anyway, you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Please like, share, and subscribe while you're listening to the chickens and the bees fly. And one more shot of the uh, feeders. I just put them both on the same spot over here. So I had one location, but they're doing the deal. And hopefully they don't get mad with me sticking my face in there. But that's what we got. Oh, Lord, I got a bee trying to get me. Got one trying to get me, trying to get me. Might be that swarm commander. <laughs> Put the rest of the swarm commander in the truck. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, you have a good day. Oh, I'll show you my my junk water. I was telling you about. One more thing. It's full of rainwater, but they get in there and drink the water off of all the stuff that I took out of my burn pile, and they'll they'll find their way down there, get some water, and fly out. That's what they do. I gotta clean that all up, so eventually I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that, but 
not for today. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.